Well, customer brought in a game today. He wants us to fix it. It's a Phoenix cocktail table. And I already know what's wrong with it. It's broke. He left me a note. This is what I need repaired. Thanks. The game. Alright, he needs the game repaired. Please make sure all the buttons and joysticks work good. Alright. The quarter slot piece might need to be lubed up. Needs a little lube. Power cord needs repaired or a new one. The screen might need to be replaced. If so, LED if possible. Needs new locks to open the top up. So, I'm not sure what he says about that, but it looks like the only thing that works is the change box. That's the only thing that works on the whole game. It does seem, it does seem to work. So basically everything is broken. The screen's broke. The game board's broke. The joysticks and the buttons appear to be broke. Even the locks are broke on the top. There's the game board. I never did really like these locks on these cocktail tables. You gotta use a special lock so it'll grab that little actuator there. There's the coin mech. It's broke. It's the power supply. It's broke, probably. I don't like these silver, those silver box power supplies like that. I never have any luck with those things. I, I take those out, throw them in the garbage, and I'll put in a hap or something like that. So I haven't plugged it in or anything yet. He literally just left about 10 minutes ago. Another thing I don't like is it's got a little, that's probably like a little toey monitor or something down there. Those are sometimes problematic, but well, hopefully we can get it going. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. I got to put a new cord on it before I can even plug it in. It's probably pretty frayed, I think. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what's going on with the cord down there. Put a new cord on it or fix that one, whatever I got to do. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to check the voltage on this power supply and I'm hoping that the power supply is bad so we'll see how that goes all right so I got a question I think that guy might have just hit that truck but anyway this has nothing to do with video games or pinball machines but I guess I'm kind of old-fashioned maybe or maybe I'm just weird but so this happens pretty often guy parks here he comes in the store and he's got a re this is a retail store now and he has a banana peel his drink from his the gas station some beef jerky wrappers and he comes inside and he carries it he carries it carries it back here 
I knew what he was going to do. I didn't say anything because it happens pretty often, but I don't know. It just seems weird to me. He comes back here. He's looking around. He actually goes behind the counter, throws it in the trash can without even asking. That just seems weird to me, but I can see it at like a gas station. You know, if it's an outside trash can, sure, go ahead, fill up your tank, throw away your garbage. But to go into a retail place, that just seems weird to me, but maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. But I also don't go in the gas station and use the bathroom without buying anything either. So anyway, just figured I'd ask. Leave it down in the comments. Am I crazy or maybe I'm just too old fashioned. I don't know. But anyway, back to the Phoenix. I got a new end on the cord. The rest of the cord seems fine. All right. So, I don't know if you can tell what was going on there, but I checked the 5 volts on the power supply, and it was good. So, I really didn't want that to be good. I was hoping I could just put in another power supply and it fixed my issue over here. But I'm getting five, a good 5 volts over to the game board. So, the problem is something on the game board. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the board then I'm gonna clean all these socketed chips and this is a two board set so I'm gonna do the same thing on the back if there is any socketed chips and then I'm gonna put it back in and try it again alright so I cleaned these four chips that one and these three RAM chips and then I flipped it over then these are all the ROM chips in these sockets and I haven't touched these yet but I just wanted to show you this one see how that second one's sticking up out of there let me see if I can see how it's out of the socket and this one that one's out of the socket too nine and seven see eight's in there pretty good seven looks like it's about halfway out and nine looks like it's about halfway out there we go so I'm gonna clean all these chips too I'm gonna take them out of the socket clean the legs and put them back in nice and I'm hoping that'll do something so we'll see alright so I cleaned all the chips on this board and the backboard I'm gonna try it again and here's that old power cord end it was probably actually fine but I don't like these eh? I don't know kinda makes me nervous having those wires so close together Originally they had a uh, little cardboard thing that covered them, but they always fall off. And it looks like somebody tried to glue it or something right there. Anyway, let's see what it does now. See if I 
card and coin it up. Appears to be working. Something might be going on with the sound. So I might have to look into that. And that curl, I gotta adjust them. I'm hoping that'll just adjust out. I gotta adjust the monitor a little bit, but we'll see if we can get a little bit further. So I got the board back out. That's the volume knob. See how that leg on the right's broken? So I'm hoping that's going to fix my sound cutting in and out. I'm going to try to figure out what size that is and put in a new one. Because this one's pretty hard to adjust. So we'll see where that goes. So I went on Google. I typed in Phoenix Arcade Manual. I clicked on it. Scrolled through, and I got to the CPU board assembly parts list. Ten K PCB trimmer potentiometer must be ten K. I could have probably measured it and all that. But where's the fun in that? So, i got to find a 10K pot. Put that on there and then I'm going to try it again. Alright, got it back in there. Let's try it again. See how much easier it's going to be to turn down the volume now? And the little, the little tune didn't cut out anymore like it was when we first started. So I think I pretty much got that problem fixed. So, see how it's kind of, I know I'm right in a window. See how this is red, and that's orange, and that's more of a that's more of a yellow. That's because the monitor's degaussed. So I'm gonna get my degauss ring and hit it, and hopefully it'll take care of that. And I'm also gonna change this power supply because these silver ones. I, anytime there's a silver one in there like that, that's just some no-name silver one. I don't like them. I take them out and I throw them in the garbage. Because you're just asking for trouble. So that's next. And this joystick is sticking a little bit. Going left. Go right. So I gotta mess with that a little bit. All right, I got it moved out of the window so you can see the monitor a little bit better. This side's a little purpley. And I'm still trying to get that. See how that's kind of orange? And it's supposed to be kind of red like that. All right, so this is my magic wand. Let's see if it wants to cooperate. Yeah, everything's red. All right, I 
think I'm pretty much done here. Let's see. Let's get our list. The game is working. See? See what I do with my Sharpie. Well. All right, the game. Check. Please make sure all the buttons and joysticks work good. I checked that earlier when you guys weren't looking. The quarter slot might need to be lubed up. Well, I messed with that a little bit earlier. Let's see if I got a quarter. All right, insert coin. That looks like that's working. Power cord needs to be repaired. I got that. The screen might need to be replaced. If so, LED if possible. I don't think it needs replaced. I think it looks great. I got it adjusted. And the guy acted like he didn't really want to spend that much money. And This is a nice 13 inch CRT anyway. I mean, putting an LED screen in there. It's kind of a lot of work. You got to get it mounted just right and then you got to use a converter board and then you know the blacks aren't black it just doesn't look very good so I'm considering that done need new locks to open up the top I did that also so that's done so I think I'm pretty much done with this repair People wonder why I don't really make the videos. Number one, Ron is just better at it than me. And number two, I stay pretty busy doing little work like this. So I got this this morning. And I like to get them fixed and turn back around as quick as I can. Get them to come pick it back up and out of my way. So I kind of, I'm kind of busy doing workflow is what you could call it really. I just kind of. We get people bringing us games like this all the time that need a few little things gone through real quick. And Ronnie, he's more into the pinball repair, and he does pretty complex repairs. I'm, you know, mo most of my stuff's pretty straightforward. You know, I put a new power supply in it. I clean the chips. I did the power cord. I mess with the sound a little bit. I changed the locks. I mess with the monitor a little bit. Fixed the joystick. You know, and now I'm on my way. So Ronnie will come in in a little bit and he'll, maybe I'll talk him into working on a, uh, well, I'll get him to do a gameplay video maybe for you. But that's what I did today. I think I covered all of my bases. I did everything he wanted me to do. So I think the customer would be happy. He didn't really... I don't think he wanted to spend too much money, so this was a pretty straightforward repair. I think he'll be pretty happy with it. There we go. Phoenix cocktail table repair. I have been informed that I am to test out a Phoenix cocktail. Let me get a chair. It has an interesting hum in it. I don't know why it does that. It sounds like the transformer's humming, but it depends on what's on the screen, too. So maybe it's the transformer on the monitor is humming. Um, see that? Kind of wild. Okay, so first let's test the coin slot. Ah, it works. Let's try another. Hey, it works. I hope he's got the sound cranked up. You know, I like it loud. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I talk loud. There we go. Oh, no, they 
can shoot. I did not know. Seems like you're in trouble. Once they get where they're spinning around. Oh, come on now. Isn't there a shield I should be using? <laughs> dive bomb into me when I had the shield on. It killed it, didn't it? No, he came back. It's a cool game. Okay, there we go. this in a long time folks oh no there's more Centuri, or whoever developed this, who said, hey man, I want to put Beethoven in the game. What a contribution to the, the history of video gaming. Some dude said, hey, we need a spot for Beethoven. Oh no. How many lives do I have? I must have won extras. Whoo! My 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 firing is not great. Did it say Taito? I think it said Taito, didn't it? I thought Century did it. They must have just licensed it in the United States. I'm sure people are furiously telling me right now in the comments. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play it one more time. I, I should mention. Uh, when I was a kid, the first video game system we had was an Atari 5200. Not a 2600, a 5200. And, you know, we didn't have a ton of money, so we got it. My dad picked it up at a yard sale one day and got an Atari 5200 with the controllers and all the games and stuff. So, you know, I'm sure half of you are going, oh, what a crappy system. Not to me. When I was a kid, that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Literally. I hadn't seen anything else. So, like... To me, it was really cool. And, you know, like the problem with the joysticks and all that, I wasn't good enough to know that there was anything wrong with the joysticks. I didn't have any problem with the joysticks. 
I played it a lot. It was fun. And uh, uh, we had uh, Vanguard on it, and I, was, I really liked that game. And we had Centipede, and we had... Um, um, I can't remember what other ones we had. We had, I think we had Super Breakout, and we had the trackball controller. And so that was the first games that I can remember playing. And around that time, I started seeing a few arcade games here and there. But I was probably, I don't know, I was eight or nine years old whenever that happened. So um, I don't know if they even made Phoenix for the 5200, but Vanguard has some similarities, you know, and... So later, whenever I got into arcade games, whenever I started collect, you know, collecting them, fixing them, selling them, you know, Century made Phoenix, and it also made Vanguard, and they have the same kind of cabinet. So uh, I always associate this with, with that. We also uh, have had several Pleiades machines over the years. Those are really cool, too, which is basically the sequel to this. All right, one more time. I'm getting worse. Oh no, I'm getting much worse. Good lord, they're gonna take me out. First board. Is there a pattern? Looks like there might be a pattern. Kamikaze me.
thought he was going to dive bomb me. This is probably it, folks. <laughs> Notice how I foretold my own death. Yeah, it's a Taito game. What I call Taito, but if I've been informed many times, that's wrong. I can't talk like that. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. What a cool game. I hope I remember to flip the screen around so that you can see it. See, basically, I'm filming you from the top, but I was on the bottom. You get it. Very cool game. I, I got a real soft spot for some of these early ones that were, like, huge. Yeah, it's simple. The, the, you know, the things don't move quite as good and all that, but... This is the foundation of it, man. This is the foundation. I've had people tell me that they were big Phoenix fans and they didn't like Galaga. They didn't like Galaxian. Phoenix was the one for them. So this game does have some people who prefer it over other games that more people would probably consider better. Um, it's just a nostalgia thing. You know, if you remember playing it back in the day... It doesn't matter how many people tell you it's not a good game. You're not going to believe them. You're going to love the thing, right? That's just how nostalgia works. Uh, music's like that, too, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you can kind of demonstrably show that, that, that the music of certain eras was much better <laughs> than the music of other eras. Though. But we won't get into that. It has nothing to do with video games. We'll, we'll quit while we're ahead. Don't want to upset all of the people that are in the mumble rap. So I hope you liked it. Leave your comments below. I think Joey did a pretty good job. I think the customer will be happy with it. We've left it running all day. I just played it. It worked great. Joey played it earlier. Worked great. What more can you ask for? Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. I know we don't, you know, we don't do as many arcade videos because it's just they're quicker. So you get one video out of this one cool arcade game. And then if I work on a pinball machine, I'm going to get four or five videos because it takes four or five times longer to fix a pinball machine. So we don't get as many arcade games. Um, and a lot of them are simple repairs like swapping a monitor and something or something. Um, but uh, this was a good one we thought we'd film and that you folks would enjoy it. So I hope you did. We'll see you on the next video. How, how about a, a hand for a classic like Phoenix? <laughs>